Little People Big World star Karen Chandler's son Connor enjoyed Rolla Farms opening weekend with his month-old son Liam Joseph. The family outing comes after the son reported Connor escaped jail time in his harassment case against his mother. <laughs> Rolla Farms' Instagram page posted a sweet photo of Connor holding Liam, who was born in August. Liam was dressed perfectly for pumpkin season's opening weekend, as he wore a onesie that featured pumpkins, spiderwebs, bats, and more Halloween-themed designs. The tot's look was topped off with a festive orange hat and black pants. Matt Roloff's girlfriend and proud grandma Karen captioned a photo holding Liam, my grandson's first time at the patch today. She also posted photos of Liam with his parents and with her daughter Brittany. Rolla Farm's famous pumpkin season kicked off this weekend with attractions including a wagon tour, spooky forest, pumpkin picking, train rides and more fall attractions. Matt captioned a photo with his youngest son Jacob. He was excited. Pumpkin season 2021 has officially arrived. They won't take off without a hitch, this to help make sure of it. Despite Matt's divorce from wife Amy, she joined in helping to greet guests, as she even showed off her dancing skills in a coconut bra and grass skirt with new husband Chris Merrick. Jeremy and Audrey and Zach and Tori were missing from the festivities. The 100-acre farm in Helvetia, just 15 miles outside of Portland, is run by patriarch Matt. The family purchased the small fixer-upper property in 1990 when it had only a beat-up old farmhouse, broken-down barn and overgrown peach orchard. Over the years, Rolla Farms has been transformed to over 100 acres and garners visitors from all over the world, which has been seen on LPBW. The sprawling property is home to the family's famous 36-acre pumpkin patch, as well as a band-built wooden ship. Connor's family outing comes after his legal troubles. Connor was arrested on January 11, 2020 and was charged with two counts of harassment against his mom Karen. In May, he received two additional charges of attempted use of physical force or the threatened use of a deadly weapon, and did unlawfully and intentionally damage property, the property of Karen Chandler, as he pleaded not guilty to all at the time the charges were filed. Connor pleaded guilty to misdemeanor criminal mischief on the day of his scheduled trial. The other three charges were dropped. The court papers read. On or about 11th of January 2020, did unlawfully and intentionally damage property, the property of Karen Chandler, the said defendant having no right to do so, nor reasonable grounds to believe that the said defendant had such right. Connor received 18 months of bench probation, which means he will be checking in with a judge and not a probation officer. He has also been ordered to complete 48 hours of community service and pay $200 in fees. He is to have no offensive touching with his mother. Connor has also struggled with substance abuse, as he previously told the son. I was just another kid that partied in high school, and one day after a party I had some Xanax left over. I took it. I realized how I felt, and it kinda just snowballed from there. I didn't want to stop. I didn't see a reason to stop because I was high 24-7 off it. I thought everyone was the enemy, so I denied any help offered, which just led to my addiction taking away everything important I had in my life. Rehab never helped. I ended up getting clean after I turned 18 and on my own, once I was off probation. It just happened. One day I was done, tired of living that life. I have friends that aren't here anymore because of pills, and I know it could have been different if they have gotten the right help the first time. He added that addiction took over his life. Connor continued. I'm glad it happened when I was a kid, that's what I can say. I was able to really learn before I truly started my life. I am a good kid. I don't steal, I don't do drugs, I have good relationships with my family and friends, I go out on the weekend and work during the week like every other person. Connor has turned his life around as he's sober today and his girlfriend Ashley gave birth to their son on August 28th. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.